Saint Nicholas of Flew who had ten children and then became a hermit. He is the patron of difficult marriages, large families, Swiss guards, councilmen, magistrates, separated spouses, and known as the father of Switzerland. Nicholas was born on the 21st of March 1417 at Saxon, Canton ob Walden, Lake Lucerne, Switzerland. He died on March 21, 1487. Saint Nicholas was canonized on the 15th of May 1947 by Pope Pius XII. His shrine is in Saxon, Switzerland. Nicholas was born on the Fluli, a fertile plateau near Saxon, Canton ob Walden, Switzerland. He died as a hermit in a neighboring ravine called Ranft. He was the oldest son of pious, well-to-do peasants and from his earliest youth was fond of prayer, practiced mortification, and conscientiously performed the labor of a peasant boy. At the age of 21 he entered the army and took part in the Battle of Ragaz in 1446. Heeding the advice of his parents he married, about the age of 25, a pious girl from Saxon, named Dorothy Whistling, who bore him five sons and five daughters. His youngest son, Nicholas, born in 1467, became a priest and a doctor of theology. He was elected cantonal counselor and judge. After living about 25 years in wedlock he listened to an inspiration of God and with the consent of his wife left his family on the 16th of October, 1467, to live as a hermit. At first he intended to go to a foreign country, but, a divine inspiration ordered him to take up his abode in the Valley of Ranft, about an hour's walk from Saxon. Here, known as Brother Klaus, he lived over 20 years, without taking any bodily food or drink, as was established through a careful investigation, made by the civil as well as the ecclesiastical authorities of his times. He wore neither shoes nor cap, and even in winter was clad merely in a hermit's gown. In 1468 he saved the town of Sarnen from a conflagration by his prayers and the sign of the cross. God also favored him with numerous visions and the gift of prophecy. Distinguished persons from nearly every country of Europe came to him for counsel in matters of the utmost importance. At first he lived in a narrow hut, which he himself had built with branches and leaves, and came daily to Mass. Early in 1469 the civil authorities built a cell and a chapel for him, and later the same year the chapel was dedicated by the Vicar General of Constance, Thomas, Bishop of Ascalon. In 1479 a chaplain was put in charge of the chapel, and thenceforth Nicholas always remained in the Ranft. When in 1480 delegates of the Swiss Confederates assembled at stands to settle their differences, and civil war seemed inevitable, Henry Imgrind, the pastor of stands, hastened to Nicholas, begging him to prevent the shedding of blood. The priest returned to the delegates with the hermit's counsels and propositions, and civil war was averted. Numerous pilgrims visit the chapel near the Church of Saxon, where his relics are preserved. St. Nicholas' Feast is celebrated on the 21st of March. Please subscribe to Catholic News World's YouTube channel. Thanks and God bless.